Have you ever wondered what a slug cat would look like as a person? Well, I've made some interpretations for you. Survivor. When designing the Survivor, I decided to start with a silhouette to try to make it fit the generic slug cat design. The reason why is because I thought that it would fit best because Survivor is the route that the average person plays through. Along with this, the hair of the Survivor is long to represent the tail that the Survivor has. To represent the ears, my headcanon is that the Survivor would have like a little beanie, a bucket hat, or even one of those cat ear headphones for the slug cat ears, though I didn't put it in this specific drawing. For other facial features like the eyes, I made them really big and dark like the original slug cat. And I also added a little band-aid on their nose to essentially represent this cute little black nose here. Small tangent, when I was drawing this band-aid, one of my friends thought it was like a little mouth going ah without the colors. That the mouth was like a double chin. This is made even funnier by the fact that I also literally made the same mistake with the end game nose. Anyway, for their fashion style, I thought it would make the most sense to give them a minimalistic style using black and white and shades of grey. I also thought for some of their outfits, they'd have a preference to have a wider fit or a silhouette around their legs, just so that it matches an actual slug cat. Gourmand. For the other slug cats, I thought it'd be okay to stray from the slug cat silhouette to add variety and details where it could fit. For Gourmand, I thought it'd be best to give him chef and field explorer themed clothing because of how he likes to explore and find new ingredients for food. For that reason, though now that I look at it, it's a little bit on the nose, he's wearing a chef outfit under his field jacket, which has several pockets and tools at the ready. Brown gloves also fit with his explorer theme. I was also considering adding one of those chef hats and like a little ratatouille like slug cat under it, but maybe for another one. His hair also made me stumped as to what a color it. I ended up with a peachy salmon, in reference to his slug cat's coat. The reason I chose brown for his eyes is because I thought it'd be good to have each human slug cat have differentiated eyes, and brown matches his color scheme pretty well. Saint. For Saint, I also started with a silhouette. The main thing I tried to focus on was having a distinct, kind of poofy anime hairstyle that the Saint actually has. I also took inspiration from Buddhist religious clothing, since the lore of the game is related to similar themes present in Buddhism, like achieving nirvana to break the cycle. I also decided to make one of the robes a shade of saffron because I looked a little into it and green is not really used by Buddhist monks in Southeast Asia. On another note, to represent Saint's tongue, I made two variations, with one version having them wear a pink scarf to represent his tongue, as well as a version where they have a pink whip grappling hook thing, because it would make sense as it gives them more mobility, like the in-game tongue does. It would be like a little Indiana Jones Belmont moment. Rivulet. For Rivulet, the main objective was to keep the magenta wispy feather-like things that she has and her magenta eyes in the design. Which, fun fact, the wiki actually says that Rivulet has the most detailed design eyes with the purple magenta-like ring. Anyhow, to complete my objective, I made her have blue hair and pink purple wispy like dyed highlights, which are styled away from her face. I also made her two outfits, one with traditional Chinese clothing in mind, because that's kind of cool, and though it's not completely historically accurate or anything, I also added a scaly fish pattern because of Revulet's swimming ability. She also wears a swimsuit underneath her clothes as seen here. I like her design overall, but if I had to change it, I would give her different robes. Maybe more practical ones that are easier to get in and out, or something similar to this guy. Also, I have like a headcanon that Rivulet's like obsessed with water or swimming, and if there's even a hint of her friends or something wanting to go swimming, she'd be like, I'll be there. Artificer. For a lot of the other slug cats, their gender is ambiguous. However, Artificer is different in that sense, because of how she was a mother who lost her two slug pups. For that reason, I wanted to make her look more feminine in her clothing and design. Something I wanted to add was making her look like a badass who has parkour skills. For that reason, I gave her pretty tight clothing and tennis shoes. She has pretty big pockets that she can use to store items, maybe to make the occasional pipe bomb or improvised explosive. Her skirt belt thing is also supposed to be the same color as the explosive spear. I imagine that she just has some fabric at the ready if she wants to make one. Also, it's magenta because I couldn't fit the red super well with the other color. Also, for why I put karma symbols on her arms and hands, the reason was is because it looks cool. Though it can also serve another purpose like reminding her the karma order or warning other people. Human lore. By the way, I know it's a kind of goofy idea to imagine all the slug cats as people, and I sort of just imagine most of them like in a normal setting, though Artificer I made her more combat oriented. Either way, I think it's a fun idea to draw them, and maybe I'll make a part two. If there's anything you think would work better than what I did, or additions like to the drawings, or maybe changing anything, let me know.